Welcome to Life Ablaze. So, my guides have let me know that today's topic is going to be on octaves. So, let's see what they have to say. We are here. We welcome you. We are here today to discuss the idea of octaves. Now, this is, as many of you know it, what is most commonly understood as a musical term, wherein there is a series of notes and you are raising the octave in order to play those same notes, but on a higher or lower octave. We have spoken much about the idea of vibration and how what vibration you are engaged in will, in essence, determine the experiences that you have access to, the information, the thoughts, and what you are putting out is, of course, what you get back. Now, assuming you are watching these videos because you are in alignment with the idea of closing the gap between you and your higher mind in raising your awareness, in raising your vibration. But what we are here to discuss tonight is the idea that this is not, as some of you may believe, a linear structure. This is not how this is designed. We understand in your physical reality that many things are perceived by you as being linear. For instance, the idea of past lives or future lives. You have had many different lives. You are connected to these lives, but they are occurring simultaneously. And so, while you have these connections to these other lives, it is not structured in a linear way. The experience of perceiving them in a linear way is entirely up to you, but you are not limited by this idea. And so, getting back to our main topic for this evening, the idea of octaves. The idea in this sense is that you are moving, in essence, in a spiral. And so, as you are either raising your vibration, which one would assume is the case if you have been utilizing the tools that we have been presenting you, but even if you are lowering your vibration, in either direction, you are moving in a spiral, not in a straight line. Now, what does this exactly mean for you? What this means is that when you have an experience, let us say, an experience from your childhood, when you are beyond the years of being a child, you will not entirely leave behind the experiences, the moments that played a role in your development, the experience that you had in that timing. You will, in essence, come around to this again in some way. There will be a similar reflection of this idea, but if you are, again, raising your vibration, you are in an upward spiral path. And so, in essence, you will be on the higher spiral 
you will be moving upward and viewing a similar topic, but you are moving in a circular path, moving upwards. And so you will revisit a great many things that you have experienced before. Now, if you are not engaging in any kind of active change, intentional change, then what you may find is you are simply in a closed loop and you'll keep experiencing the same things without any development from your perception, from your perspective. But even this serves a purpose because there are only so many times that you can repeat the exact same pattern without learning from it, without becoming, at the very least, fed up with repeating the same thing over and over and over again and not actively choosing to change the way you respond to that particular thing. Perhaps you will find that there is a series of relationships that you find yourselves in with the same type of individual. You may keep attracting the same type of individual into your lives. It may be over the course of several different relationships, and yet you find the circumstances are not that different. This is because you are not moving upward in the spiral, you are simply looping. So now, assuming that you are making use of the permission slips that we have presented, and others that no doubt you can come across in other contexts, assuming you are actively using these and not simply allowing them to be intellectual stimulation for you, but you are engaging them, then you can begin to move upward in the spiral. Now, again, you will perceive some of the experiences that you have perhaps before. Now, there are certain aspects that are going on here and we will discuss each one of them. The first is that, of course, as we have said, what you put out is what you get back. And so, if you view yourself in that context, putting something out, let us say that you are calling your voice out into a large canyon. And depending on the size of this canyon, it actually may take a few seconds before you hear your echo return back to you. There is a time delay from when you put out that voice and when you get back that message, that same message that you put out. And so, along this idea, there is, in essence, a time delay of receiving back what you are putting out. And so, in essence, this is one of the ways that you re-experience certain topics of your life. You have, in essence, in your past, put out this information, put out this energy, and so it must come back to you, even if who you are has changed, even if you have adopted new practices. Now, for many of you, this can get confusing because you believe you have changed and yet you see the results in your life, as you may put it, the responses from the universe, the echo that comes back, that would seem to indicate that you have made no progress, that you have made no change. But the test of whether or not you have actually changed is the opportunity that you now have to view what you have put out in a new way. And if you do this, this is an indication that you have moved to the higher rung of the spiral. And so you are standing in the same geographic location in our example, but you are now a rung higher. And so you are viewing the echo, the experience, from a higher octave. And this will continue. There will be many experiences that have been relevant for you that will continue to be relevant for you. But 
their relevance will come to you from a different perspective, from the higher octave. Your understanding of your role and your relationship to these particular experiences will evolve. And so if you allow the echo of what you have put out to return to you because you do not have a choice, you can allow this to happen, then you can move up this spiral and experience what is relevant for you to experience from a continual growth path. And you can understand rather than simply being frustrated at experiencing some of the same things in your life, you can understand that this is part of the spiral and you have an opportunity to respond differently even if the circumstances appear to be precisely the same. And it is your different response that is the, shall we say, test in the experience. And if you respond differently, then you are setting forth a new voice into the canyon and the echo will be different. It must. But if you hear the echo and you assume that nothing has changed and you call out the same message that you did before, you are simply perpetuating the loop. It is a very fine line. It is a distinction that is essentially for, shall we say, advanced students to be able to discern this difference and to understand that what you may be receiving is still relevant for you, if only to begin to look at this particular topic from a different perspective within you. All are useful, all are relevant, all are part of the learning experience that is the ever-evolving you that is coming into greater and greater alignment with your higher mind. You are moving up the spiral. You are becoming more congruent as you do so. And the octaves will continue to get higher and higher as you raise your vibration. We thank you for this opportunity to present this message for you today, and we look forward to speaking with you again. Until next time. Thank you so much.